connection. You know it when you see it because it makes you feel or think or act. From the simple to the complex, down the block or across the globe, shot today or decades ago. Our imagery reflects the world as it is and lets us imagine how we want it to be. Make a connection. Move the world. On today's program, we're coming to you live with the latest product updates from Getty Images, search tips and tricks to help you find that perfect image or video faster, a look at some of our new collections, and real-time answers to your questions and comments. Fresh content is just moments away. Premium Access Live, brought to you by the download, starts now. Hi, I'm Lizzie Day, Director of Customer Success at Getty Images, and I'm so pleased to welcome you to Premium Access Live, our quarterly review of what your Getty Images plan has to offer, from the latest product news to tips and tricks and so much more. As the name suggests, we're coming to you live today, so if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the chat or Q&A below, and we'll answer them along the way. And be on the lookout for polls that will pop up throughout the program. Little surprises around every corner, but nothing too tricky, I promise. Ready to get started? My co-host Jennifer Kelly is here to show you what's new. Hi Jen, welcome to the show. Hi Lizzie, really looking forward to some of those little surprises that you mentioned. For everyone else, I'm Jennifer Kelly and I'm a customer success manager here at Getty Images. Today we're showing you some new features that optimize your search and workflow. Don't forget to drop your questions in the Q&A and we'll get to as many as we can. Now, some of the most frequently asked questions we get from clients revolve around search and how to find that perfect image or video. Our newly updated Getty Images search guide has been released to help with just that. Here to share some highlights and her expert search tips is our senior research editor, Michelle Graham. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have an expert here. Would you mind telling us a little bit about our updated search guide? I'm very happy to, Jen, and I'm happy to be here with everybody. We're very excited to tell you about our latest search guide. For our new users, it will jumpstart your search, and for more experienced users, it'll offer an in-depth guidance on boards, refining results, finding the perfect image, and the FAQ section is a great resource. You'll definitely want to explore it, share it, and bookmark it. I'm going to share my screen now and uh, share with you some of the creative and editorial search tips. Let me click on creative first. Did you know that effective search starts with the right keywords? Str string them together to refine results. And did you know that modifiers between keywords, like not and or, will help you add the results you want and remove the ones that you don't? Using our refinement panel is also a great way to hone your search. One of my favorites is the color wheel. You can easily change the hue and saturation to change those results. And did I mention that combining keywords is the most effective way to uh, start your search? Well, we have some great keyword inspiration. Combine style, composition, setting location, emotion, and action. And Michelle, that, that, keyword, um, that keyword page with the hyperlinks, that's one of my yeah. favorite features because sometimes exactly. maybe you don't even know a keyword exists and these are constantly updated, they're on trend, so you're getting the freshest keywords of what's trending there. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's invaluable. Yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right, Jen. And this is a great way for our customers to expand their search vocabulary 
by using this guide. We also have trending keywords and, and specialty collection links right here. I'm going to click on diversity. It takes you right to our search page. Uh, I want to remind everybody, before you start searching, make sure that you are logged in and that your premium access is toggled on. This will ensure that you get everything that's available under your plan. So let's start searching. Just type in combinations of words. I'm going to use uh, a word, a keyword called choice picks. It's a little bit of an insider um, word. This is applied to um, all images that our content teams uh, uh, find that are favorites. And remember, I mentioned modifiers. Well, mm -hmm. let's apply those here. I'm going to add one or two people. And Michelle, the and modifiers, that, that another word for that is Boolean search, right? I know that's a word that we hear thrown around a lot and maybe people don't know it exactly what it means. Is that what a modifier is? Yeah, it, it, it absolutely is. Um, it's called Boolean search, but you use, uh, and not in or in order to uh, change your search modifiers to me is a little bit easier but yeah that's exactly what it is jen so i've added in my or modifier and now i want to do a search where i'm not you i don't want to see people outdoors so i'll do not and you can also use a minus sign here hmm. outdoor and it changes your search you can also use our, our filter panel. I'm just going to layer in again and go to image style and click on copy space. And for those of you who don't know what copy space is, it is uh, allows um, room in the image for type or to modify your search. Let's do one more very quickly. To change up your search, you just clear all results, change the search. I'm going to type in wellness. This is one of the uh, trending words that Jen mentioned that um, our Creative Insights team are seeing. Yeah, it's very, it, it's wellness is something that's trending a lot right now for obvious reasons. Um, but it's one of the four themes. We, of we our all need team. a little yes. self care. <laughs> exactly. Yes. I want to just show you quickly how it, how easy it is to move from our stills collections to video within the same search. Wellness still stays in the bar and you're able to move on to your search. Another powerful tool is to click on any image that you're interested in. From here, you'll see that you'll find the same series, which is outtakes from a particular shoot, as well as similar images, images by other contributors, but on the, on the same theme. And if you're still trying to expand your uh, keyword vocabulary, make sure to scroll all the way down to see what keywords are applied here. And as Jen mentioned, all of these are hyperlinked and you can apply them in the search bar. I'll just scroll quickly Again, back that's up. one of my that's one of my favorites, Michelle, again, like the other keyword page, because I, I don't know that a lot of clients are are aware that it is on that asset detail page because it's kind of hidden at the bottom. So make sure you scroll all the way down to take advantage of those keywords and kind of you, you can use it as a guide for future searches to find what you need. It's definitely helpful. Um, I've been doing this uh, for a number of years, and I use it um, to see what's applied and then apply it to my search to expand. Another thing that I use quite frequently, if I find a contributor, uh, an image that I like, I like the style of the photograph, you can click on the credit line uh, contributor, which is also hyperlinked, to take you to their work, to see more of their work. And then lastly, while you're here, you can download a comp, 
and save it to um, a board. Uh, boards are a great collaborative tool to allow you to organize your search. I'm going to click on the bubble above, and you can see how you can uh, create multiple boards. And I'm going to save this one to the download. And perfect, perfect. And in speaking of video, thanks for taking us through that. Speaking of video, if you're a marketer or a creative, you know how important video has become over the past few years. So now Getty is making it even easier to work with our amazing video collections with two new features focused on video. The first one is a favorite of mine. It is search by video. Now you can simply upload a video with the same look and feel as the subject you're looking for, and you'll get results back uh, that are just like the video that you uploaded. Michelle, would you mind walking us through how that works? Sure thing. Just click on the icon in the uh, upper right-hand corner. You can drag and, and drop off your desktop or upload a file. Um, I was in the park the other day and I took a video of a couple of geese ice skating. <laughs> You'll see the video pops into the frame and just click start search. And although that particular video is not in our collection, you'll see that it pulls up very similar looking in tone and feel. You'll also able to um, maneuver between video search, whether it's a video or a still, and see image results. So it's a very powerful tool. I'm sure I'll, I'll be using it and I hope everyone else will be too. That really is like magic. And, and I do wanna reiterate something that I think is really important that you just mentioned. That video was just a personal video that you had from your phone. So it doesn't have to be a Getty Images video that you upload. You can upload things that you've shot in-house. You can upload things from other vendors. And of course, we want you to upload your Getty Images licensed material. So yeah, any of those things you can upload and find both stills and video that kind of give that same feeling or those same kind of keywords. Um, now, speaking of, I, I know you mentioned boards before, can you take us yes. through another new feature that is really exciting, which is bulk video download? Um, this function takes the hassle out of downloading each video one by one, and it's a real, it's a real time saver. Would you mind kind of uh, screen sharing that for us? I, yes, I absolutely will. And I already clicked on uh, the boards link that's up at the top of the page. And again, Perfect. you can choose which um, folder that you'd like to download from. You have the option to select any of the images that you've saved to your board individually. Or video. Or however many, you, or video, exactly. And, or select them all. Click on choose an option, download, choose a size, and bulk download. And it comes onto your desktop. I hope that's helpful. That's great, Michelle. That Super helpful. That's a huge time saver, especially when we know a lot of you out there are on tight deadlines. So you don't have to go one by one by one. We now have um, that capability for you. Um, so these have been some really great creative search tips. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about editorial imagery. Now, many of you may not have editorial imagery or video included in your plan, or you may not have a need for it. But if that is something you're interested in, feel free to reach out to your Getty rep and we can you know, walk you through that. With search, I know it's a little bit of a different beast. So can you go over some search tips for editorial imagery that could be helpful for, for everyone out there? Yes, happy to. Similar to our uh, creative search, just type combinations of keywords into your, into your board. On the search guide, you'll find lots of great detailed information about uh, all of the filters and ways to combine words to uh, for search. Um, we also have inspiration keywords on uh, our, our search guide page. I'm going to just click on best picks 
and show you. Can you tell oh, us what best award? picks is, what that keyword means? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's, a, it's another insider <laughs> one, so, so people know. might not be aware. I forget that not everybody is 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 on is on the inside. However, our our best picked keywords are images that uh, our editors have have designated and highlighted as uh, as being outstanding. Okay, very similar and to it's the a great way picks keyword in creative. Yes, for, on creative exactly, and it's a great way um, to to see exceptional imagery. And you can search within. So I've added a ward here, and you'll see that it 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 will um, it's on the events toggle. So you can look at our imagery via events, or browse through them as individual images. You're then able to go to our search panel and look for specific people, composition. Um, and I, although I skipped over it a little bit too quickly, uh, our date range is a really powerful way to narrow in on what you're looking for. Location is another uh, space that you'll want to check out. So from there, you're able to quickly toggle within a search between sports, entertainment, news, and archival. Let's click on that. I, I think from here, Thanks. one of the things that I wanted to highlight is our archival calendar. Yes. This is a great tool to, if you have events or anniversaries, or not sure what events or anniversaries on a particular day, that you can use for your marketing. Have you had experiences with this, Jen, with customers? Uh, you know what? I, I find that customers really love this when they have a slow news day. <laughs> so if there's not a whole lot of current news, they can go back and see the anniversary of, I don't know, Marilyn Monroe's birthday <laughs> or, or whatever it is. And yeah. kind of put a human interest story in there. Yeah, it's just fun to, to browse and look at, but it can also be a, a powerful tool for your project. The last thing that I want to show you is our featured collection page. This can be found in the um, by clicking on our Browse button in the upper right-hand corner of any of our pages. This is a great way to jumpstart and spark um, inspiration, but also see uh, what keywords uh, in, are trending and what subjects customers are interested in. We have video collections as well as curated image sets. And one thing that I really love on this page is that it highlights our specialty collections. These are collections that we have partnered with with industry leading uh, companies and organizations to curate. Our latest is the HBCU collection. I think Jen is going to tell you a little bit more about that right now. Yeah, I'm happy to. We're, we're really proud of all of our specialty collections, like Michelle said. And at Getty Images, we believe in the power of imagery to change the world, and we're committed to highlighting the diverse perspectives that offer unique historical and social narratives. Now you can explore American history through the lens of historically Black colleges and universities. The HBCU collection is part of an impactful partnership that preserves these important historical images and makes them available for your use. And to find them on Getty, just type in HBCU into the search bar. If you want to learn more about that program and the inaugural grant recipients, you can find it here. Looks like we have time for one more new feature that is super exciting, and that is live chat. So if you're a customer in the U.S., Canada, U.K., or Ireland, you now have access to direct, real-time access to a customer service rep during local business hours and a lot of times beyond local business hours. Make sure you're logged into your account and those customer service reps can handle your search and account questions. They can handle queries about um, usage rights, really, really anything you need to know about Getty Images or premium access 
as a plan. Uh, and if you're outside these regions, don't worry, we have FAQs that'll help you find exactly what you need. If there is a feature or a product that you'd like to see from Getty or from Premium Access, let us know in the chat below or drop us a line at the download at gettyimages.com and we'll take it back to our product team. We really appreciate, we really appreciate any feedback that you guys uh, have to offer. So thank you in advance for that. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much for taking us through these new features. Lizzie, let's go back to you. Thanks, Jen. Now, just a quick note, if you or anyone in your organization is new to Premium Access and looking for onboarding information, you can find it anytime on the Premium Access Resource Center at the address on your screen or contact your Getty Images representative to schedule an onboarding session. With that said, we'd like to hear a bit about you. Our first poll should have just popped up on your screen, so please take a moment to let us know a little bit about you so we can make sure that we're customizing our content for today's audience. Speaking of customizing content for today's audience, the world has changed, but have your visuals. Custom content makes updating your asset library simple with images and videos made just for you and your brand. Speak to your Getty Images sales rep to learn more. All right, we'll close the poll now. Thank you so much for participating. We'll be right back with our expert panel for Q&A. Welcome back everybody. Now's the time in the program where we open the floor for all of your pressing questions about premium access or Getty images. So here to help us out are Susan O'Connor from our legal team, Brian Kilcullen from our sales team, and Michelle of course is back to answer any, any search or, or collection questions that you guys might have. Welcome everybody. Hey Jen. Hey guys. Hello. Um, hey Jen. All right, so let's see. It looks like we have some questions coming. Oh, there it is. <laughs> How can I add a new user to my plan? Uh, Brian, this might be a good one for you to take. Would you mind walking us through that? Yeah, for sure, Jen. So um, on gettingimages.com, we do have the ability to grant administrative permissions to uh, users. So if, um, <clears throat> if you'd like those permissions, what that'll do is allow you to create new contacts and usernames for people at your company. And then also uh, grant them access to any agreements that you might have. You can also um, configure them to have a uh, purchase on credit terms rights or, uh, or excuse me, permissions um, and some, uh, some other types of permissions. So if you don't currently have that set up for your account, you can feel free to reach out to us, either your sales rep or reach out to our uh, customer support team uh, via our contact us form on our website, and they can direct you to the right person to, to look into setting you up. Perfect. Thanks, Brian. Let's see here. Okay. Um, this is one we get a lot. Uh, what is the difference between creative and editorial licenses and uses? Susan, this sounds like a great question for legal. Can you take that one? Sure. Creative content is typically fully released, meaning there are releases from the people and the places depicted within the content. Because of that, creative content can be used for any and all purposes, such as your commercial, promotional, or editorial uses. Editorial content is not released, and this content can only be used for editorial purposes. This means you can use it for news reporting or other discussion of current events. Perfect. Yeah, and if you're not sure, just feel free to reach out to your rep, and we can go through the details of what is and what isn't permitted under your agreement. Um, okay. How can I view downloads from everyone at my company? Michelle, would you mind uh, taking us through that? Oh, happy to. By default, you can view your individual downloads. 
If you need to view all the downloads made from your account, reach out to your uh, rep to, to be set up with admin access. If you have a need uh, to organize your downloads or control permissions of who is using the content, uh, you may benefit from our, our DAM solution, Media Manager. Perfect. Yeah, uh, Media Manager, it's our, like she said, our DAM solution. It's a digital asset management system for those of you not in the know. Uh, let's see, we've got some more coming in here. I would like to know how to better sort my searches. For example, I want a star shape, but I don't want to see Christmas or 4th of July styles. Um, Michelle, that sounds like a search expert is needed for this question. Can you take that one? <laughs> Yeah, I'm really happy to answer that one. Um, this is a great example of how modifiers that I, I showed during our demonstration uh, can be helpful to refine the search. Uh, if you're searching for illustration or vectors, try star shaped, not holiday. And for photography, you might modify that by trying star shape, not holiday, and not people. And that'll refine your, your search uh, even easier. Uh, also, you can use uh, the sort by filter to see results like best match, newest, and mo most popular, and that will change the sort order as well. Perfect. So yeah, it sounds like those Boolean modifiers we talked about um, are are really are really key there. Uh, let's see, do we have any other ones? My plan has unlimited users. Can I add users from one of our sister companies that's under the same corporate umbrella? This is one we get quite a bit too. Brian, would you would you mind uh, answering that? Yeah, for sure. So our standard agreements uh, in terms uh, usually will limit um, access to the agreement just to the single legal entity. So even if you're working with a close sister company or, or a subsidiary, it's likely part of a uh, separate legal entity. Uh, we recommend always checking with your legal team first and reviewing that the agreement that you have in place with us. If you do need to have uh, customized rights that could grant access to the agreement to um, others outside of the legal entity, feel free to reach out to your sales rep and we can look into customizing those rights and negotiating new terms. Yeah, we can pretty much, uh, we can almost always accommodate what you need. It's just maybe it's a different type of contract, like Brian said. Um, let's see, do we have any other questions? Here's one. Okay, can I purchase images not available in my subscription on an as-needed basis? Um, this is one I can take as a premium access expert. Yeah, absolutely you can. You can always license anything that's available through the Getty Images website, even if it falls outside of your plan. With that, it would just be on an a la carte basis with full royalty-free rights um, if it's a creative image. And if it becomes more of an ongoing need, reach out to your rep and see about expanding your library, as sometimes that can, that can be a better overall value for you. Okay, if you download an image more than once, does it count toward the download cap number twice? Okay, uh, Brian, would you mind taking this one? No, not at all. Um, again, very. it's usually dependent on the, uh, the agreement that you have set up. So uh, we always recommend checking the um, terms and conditions of the agreement that you have in place. Uh, in some cases, it may offer uh, to get downloads without uh, costing additional downloads. Um, but of course, you can always reach out to your sales rep if you do have any questions. Thanks, Brian. So we'll get back to your questions in just a minute, but first, it's poll time. Yay. Please take a moment to answer the brief poll that should have just popped up, up, up on your screen. While you're doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about our Media Manager product that, that Michelle mentioned. Getty Images Media Manager, powered by Brand Folder, is a fully featured asset management system that makes it easy to access, manage, and share your files both inside and outside of your organization with an unlimited amount of guest users. It also automatically imports your Getty Images downloads and integrates with your favorite applications for a simplified workflow. Contact your Getty Images rep to learn more. All right, that was fast, but the poll is closed and we have more questions coming in here, it looks like. 
So let's hop into that. Okay. Is there a way to save my search results so I can look at them the next day? Uh, Michelle, this is another search question for you. Uh, can you can you take us through this? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm really happy to. So with search, uh, you can your your keywords are saved automatically, and when you uh, start typing in the search uh, in the search bar you'll see a drop down for recently viewed searches. While it won't save the last place that you left off, you can make note of that page uh, where you stop and go back to the search and, uh, and, and just at the very bottom of the page, there is a, a number, you can pop that in. Um, another tip that I use quite frequently, and as do my colleagues, is that you can bookmark the, the page where you've left off. And that's a really easy way to uh, get back to the last search. Perfect, thank you. I'm, I'm learning new things myself here. <laughs> See if there is any more questions coming in. Okay, this is something that we, we touched on previously, but we could go into more detail. What does the keyword choice picks mean again? Michelle, can you, can you kind of reiterate that for us? Certainly. We have a fantastic team of in-house art directors uh, on our creative side, and they go through the, 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 the thousands and millions of, of images uh, on the daily, monthly, and yearly. And they select images that stand out and will apply that keyword uh, to certain images. But it's a great way to see what other creatives are looking at, um, and, 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 and finding really interesting. So we've applied that in the search and, and sometimes uh, what we think is a great image, you might also. So it's just a little insider tip that we, we use when searching. Perfect, yeah, it is subjective, but in our minds, this is the best of the best. So yeah, yes. use that keyword guys, an insider keyword. All right, here's another one. Oh, my favorite topic, Boolean. <laughs> With Boolean operators, do parentheses matter, as in sky and parentheses, cloud or plane, and parentheses, not parentheses, bird or ball, and parentheses. Um, Michelle, can you, can you tell us a little bit more about this as a search expert? Yeah, they can be very, very useful, especially if you are doing series of, of, of Boolean operators like that, I find that um, it will clean up your search if you're using it. If you're using it as I did, where you're, you're only adding one or or one not, then you really don't need to. But our, um, our algorithm is very powerful. So for example, the, the other modifier or Boolean operator that I did not mention is and. So we, you don't need to put the word and in between the string. You didn't see me use that, but you can use a comma, the, the word and, the space, et cetera, and, and, it, and it automatically adds in. But when you are combining strings of or and not in different combinations, using the parentheses can be very helpful. It's like an algebra equation. All right, here we go. Oh, does Getty Premium Access include music downloads? Um, this is a good one for, for Brian in sales. All right, thanks, Jen. Yeah, uh, it does if uh, your agreement's set up with it. So through our partnership with Epidemic Sound, uh, we can grant access to over 90,000 um, tracks and sound effects. Uh, what's pretty cool too about the, um, about the tracks and the sound effects is that you can uh, download uh, one file that'll give you access to all the stems. Uh, so you can really isolate the different instruments or any, um, uh, any uh, voices. Um, if you do have it in your account, uh, excuse me, in your agreement, if you, on the Getty homepage, if you go to the music tab on the top, uh, if you click on that, you'll see if um, it either directs you to the epidemic uh, portal, which will give you access to our tracks, or it'll uh, prompt you to contact us. So um, if it prompts you to contact us, please feel free to reach out. That means you don't currently have it in your agreement. Uh, you can reach out to your rep and schedule a demo. Uh, we can give you a walkthrough of, uh, 
of the site. Um, similar to boards, you can create playlists where you can uh, uh, select tracks you later to review and then later download. You can share those with other people at your company uh, through other usernames. So yeah, uh, we do have music tracks available, but just feel free to reach out to us if you don't currently have it in your account. Perfect. And, and I and I am um, hearing a recurring theme here, which is it depends on your agreement. So if you guys ever have any questions about your agreement at all, feel free to reach out to your rep or again to that that customer service live chat and, and we can get you situated and get you in the perfect plan. Let's see, do we have any more questions? Oh, here we go. Uh, can I download comps in bulk through a board? Brian, that might be a good one for you. Can you take that? Sure. Um, so on boards, you can download in bulk for your uh, premium access agreement. So you can go through and um, select multiple uh, images or clips and then uh, download from there. Um, in terms of comps, though, that does need to be on an individual basis. Uh, potentially, our Adobe plugin could help with your workflow. But if you do have a need for high, uh, high volume of high res comps, uh, please reach out to us or your rep. Uh, you can reach out through 1-800-IMAGERY, like I said before, through our contact us form on the website or directly to your rep, and they can uh, explore some solutions for you that will give you high res comp access. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. I have team members outside of the U.S. that occasionally need, ac need to access content via the site rather than our DAM. Can I give them access to my plan? Uh, Susan, I know there's a lot of legal ins and outs with this, so can you, can you answer that question for us? Sure. I'm going to echo what Brian's been sharing about a lot of these questions, too, which is you should check your agreement with your legal team to see if it allows for access. And if it doesn't, you can reach out to your sales representative or service and we can discuss your options about a worldwide agreement and accommodating that for you. Great. Thank you, Susan. Let's see, I am in England. Uh, okay, I'm in England. Is there any term I can use to get regional filtering? For example, uniform people are often US centric, police, schools, etc. Uh, Michelle, can you help us with narrowing, narrowing down that type of search? Yes. Um, one of the things that you can do is select the location on our, on our filter panel. And I'll share my screen very quickly and just show you where that is. As you can see here on the left in the filter panel, scroll down there is a location filter and you can select your your country or origin and that and that will filter um, images that were shot in that location and that will should greatly help you um, find imagery imagery for any subject uh, within a specific location the other um, option is that we try to apply the key, uh, the location keyword to images. So you can um, always open the asset page and find that. Hope that's helpful. Perfect, yeah, that, that's super helpful. Okay, here's another, here's another question here. How can I search by gender? Just keywords or are there any new filters? Michelle, I'm gonna put you on the spot again uh, and uh, have you answer this search query for us. Yeah, we can probably uh, give a, a more in-depth answer off offline here. However, um, we do not have a filter for gender, so you will need to add it into the search bar. Um, you can use uh, a variety of gender pronouns and have that pop up in your search as well. Perfect. Do you have an Adobe plugin available? I think I can take this when I talk about this quite a lot. The answer is yes, we do have an Adobe plugin available. It's, it's free of charge to download for both Mac and PC. And what it does is it, uh, it just 
makes it so that you can access all of your creative Adobe Creative programs within um, one spot, or you can access the Getty Images website, I should say, within your program so that you're not toggling back and forth between the Getty website and the Adobe programs. You can do your search, your downloading, your editing all in one space. Um, so yes, the answer is yes. Okay, um, what exactly is meant by creative images? Michelle, can you take that one? Uh, yes, um, to piggyback uh, off of what Susan mentioned earlier, um, we bundle creative images. Those are images that uh, are, are typically model or property released and uh, are in our creative uh, website link so that it makes it easier for you to license uh, for all uses. All right. Well, that, that's about all the time we have for today anyway. Answers to any questions that we didn't get to today will be posted on our show page later this week. Special thanks to all our panelists, Brian from Sales, Susan from Legal, and Michelle from Research. I've been your co-host, Jennifer Kelly, and Lizzie will be right back to wrap everything up. Thanks for joining us for today's Premium Access Live. We'll be back next quarter with more tips, tricks, and answers to your questions. In case you missed season one of the download, you can catch all the topics our experts covered, from sustainability to sports and video to social media, on demand anytime on our events page. And the download presented by Getty Images returns for an all new season, exclusively on demand this April. Check your inbox for the next drop date. As always, if you have any questions about your premium access subscription, contact your Getty Images representative or email us at thedownload at gettyimages.com. Thank you once again for being a Getty Images customer. We truly appreciate your business. I've been your co-host, Lizzie Day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.